So are our Epsom papers any good? And can they produce a really nice cotton-based fine art paper? Let's have a look. Hello, and welcome to this photo speed video with me, Tim Jones. Today, we're gonna to be doing something a little bit different. We're not gonna be looking at photo speed papers or printers or anything like that. We're actually gonna be looking at Epsom papers and mainly their fine art cotton range. Now they do a fine art cotton textured, a smooth, a bright white textured and a bright white smooth as well. And these are the papers I printed off on the P700 here and are quite interested to see how they look and seeing how these papers perform. Because at Photospeed, we don't just sell Photospeed products and Photospeed papers. You may have noticed online we sell a whole raft of other products as well and other manufacturers. So we sell Epsom paper, we sell Ilford, Harlemuller, Canson, and of course the Photospeed range of papers as well. So it wouldn't be right if I didn't look at some of these papers and actually how they print out and how they perform on different kind of situations. So what I've done is I've printed a color and a black and white, and I'm just gonna have a look and talk you through my thoughts on the papers and what they actually look like and how they perform as well. So before we dive in, please don't forget to subscribe. Just click that button in the bottom right there. And also click the bell notification if you're on the YouTube app and it gives you notifications of when we drop a new video every Thursday. So without further ado, let's dive in and actually get into the prints and start by having a look at these papers. Okay, so like I said, I've printed off the same picture in color on each of the four papers they do. So the papers are a bright white smooth, or a fine art cotton bright white smooth, they call it, and then a textured bright white. And then they also do these natural papers in smooth and textured as well, almost like a watercolor paper. Really, really nice, but is quite a bit warmer. So I would assume no OBAs in this paper, whereas there will be OBAs in the bright white papers. So I've also printed off some black and whites. Now, as it's Halloween coming up this weekend of when I'm recording this video, I've printed off a nice pumpkin picture. And how it performs, I've got some lovely gray detail down the bottom, but so quite a nice dense black at the top and some nice contrasty bits in between as well. So hopefully a bit of everything in there. And I have to say, first impressions, the papers are looking absolutely great. But I will talk a little bit more in detail about each one as we go through. Let me start with the first paper, which is going to be the Fine Art Cotton Natural. And this is 300 grams. So let's have a look at that paper. Okay, so I've got the prints out. I've just separated them out here. So I've got the colour and the black and white. Now, my first point that I have noticed before we even talk about colour or anything like that, now I've printed these prints out and I have to say, I probably haven't been as careful as I should have with them because what I have noticed is it's a very, very delicate paper. It will mark very easily. I've already got a couple of scuff marks because I've put them all together to do the fan at the start and things. And I've noticed I've got a couple of fingerprints on here. So please use this paper with some gloves or be very, very careful. Handle it at the edges as well. That's my first kind of point. I'm, I'm interested to know if the other papers do that as well. Now this is the natural paper. So we've got it in a nice textured finish here. So it reminds me a little bit of our cotton etching paper, now especially the bright white version, but this is the natural version. And I have to say, it's really, really nice. It's a little bit warmer. So the color image, because of the paper base is a little bit warmer, it really does pop off the page and look fantastic. It, it does look great. All these lovely colors here look great. It's held detail really nicely as well, just at the top here on this jar. But also it's the background, because it's kind of a little bit moppled anyway, the background on this picture, it quite seats this paper quite nicely because of this nice delicate texture on here. So really impressed with it. Now I will say, or well, I didn't do any profiles for this. I just used the printer, the 
the profiles that actually come in the printer, the generic profiles, shall we say, and then they'll also use the black and white mode. So they've done a really, really good job and it looks great. I would say the texture on the sweets here is just getting a little bit distracting. Not, that's nothing to do with the paper. I would just say that perhaps for this image, I'd like something a little bit smoother, but then again, it suits the background and the out of focus bits really, really nicely. Let's look at the black and white, because again, it has done a really, really nice job. Because of the solid black here going round, I would say possibly because of the texture of the paper, it does get a little bit distracting on here. So maybe not for those solid black pictures, maybe the smooth is better. But detail wise, it's got some really nice structure in the paper as well. So it almost looks like an etching paper that you put through a press. It absolutely feels fantastic because they're cotton as well. They feel fantastic in the hand. The detail that it's held also in the box down the bottom here, or the crate, is really good. It's just done a really nice job. Um, just got a little bit of highlights and things up in here. Grey tone's really nice, so it would probably suit a really nice kind of um, even toned grey print with not so much black and white in there. But really impressed with it, it looks really great. So let's look at the next paper, which is gonna be the Fine Art Cotton Smooth. And that's gonna be the natural version, the same as this. Okay, to be honest, these pictures look pretty much identical to the textured one. So color reproduction, absolutely perfect. They look great, they just jump off the page. It's held detail absolutely fantastically. Color has just jumped off the page at me. It looks really great because of this, um, because of this natural base, the color just looks nice and warm and inviting. Really nice and smooth as well. Lovely structure in the paper as well. We can just see it coming through in the background here. Um, really, really nice. I'm really impressed with them actually. See, this paper reminds me of our natural soft textured, um, but ours is actually alpha cellulose and not cotton. So this is a really, really nice paper. It feels great could be a little bit closer to our platinum cotton actually and absolutely feels really really nice um yeah really impressed again looks fantastic really really nice paper black and white this is where it kind of came to life a little bit added a little bit of warmth because of that warm base again a couple of little scuff marks so be very very careful with this paper because we don't want any marks on it or anything like that Again, held detail really well. It's nice and sharp as well, because on some cotton-based papers, we can see the sharpness just go down a little bit. Not, not in a bad way. So this has held all the detail really nicely and just really created a great print. And when you look at it, it just jumps off the page again. So really, really nice. I'm interested to see the bright white versions because this is the natural. So in theory, the bright white version should really zing. So here's the bright white versions. So this is the fine art cotton textured bright, they call it, which is basically the bright white. Now this is very similar to our cotton etching paper, nice high white point. So perfect for those black and whites, those high contrast black and white scenes. Again, just be a little bit careful with it. A couple of scuff marks on here. I haven't been super kind of careful with it. Again, held the detail really nicely really great for these high contrast. The black is really, really nice as well. If I compare it, let me just grab the natural one. If I compare it, there is a bit of a difference here. This, this black is just a little bit more muted on the natural paper, but it's just a more solid black. And this could be because of the border here, just setting this black off a little bit. Because if we've got a purer white on the border, it will give us the illusion of a deeper black in here. But there is quite a difference between the white points of these papers. Again, held detail fantastically. Because it's cotton, it, it hasn't softened anything either, which is great. Now also on color, it's performed really, really nicely as well. For some reason, I'm not too sure, but on the bright white version, I can't, the, the, the texture of the paper isn't too distracting in these sweets. If you remember back, I did to it say, on the first paper, on the natural version, it was a little bit distracting on the sweets in the jar here. 
But actually, on, on the bright white version, not too sure why, there is, it's just a little bit smoother. So it is a little bit smoother and we haven't got that distraction in there. However, we have got a little bit more up in the top here, but this is kind of a moppled uh, finish anyway. So it does look great, it doesn't distract. And when you're looking at it from a view, when you're looking at it from a distance, it looks kind of great, it looks fantastic. Really impressed, um, really like these papers to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm really impressed with them. Really kind of, it, it, now, I'm, I'm really impressed with these papers. I have to say, ashamedly, this is probably the first time I've properly used Epson papers and actually had a look. And actually, they're really nice. Um, they need to shout about them a little bit more, I think. Let's finish up by looking at the final paper in their Fine Art Cotton range, which is the Fine Art Cotton Smooth Bright, or Bright White. Again, a bright white version of that natural. So it's got some OBAs in, so it's nice and bright. Beautiful contrast. This is the one I think that this picture would probably suit the best. Nice smooth paper. Now it's bright white, so it reminds me of our NST bright white, which is a cotton based paper. And it's lovely. It is really nice. It's held detail really well, held contrast. It's got the gray tones working perfectly. To be honest, I kind of expect it to do this because it's a bright white paper. It's nice. It's not gonna suck any of the contrast and the color and things. It's just gonna look great. So both these pictures, I would probably expect to print quite nicely on. Again, it's held these tones really nice. You can start to see a little bit of the texture of the paper coming through up here or the grain of the paper. And it is really, really nice and pleasing. So that's a really nice finish and looks, looks, just looks really, really nice. Again, really impressed. Um, looks great, looks fantastic. And yeah, I, it's well worth a try. If, if, you're, if you're thinking about papers, um, please try these papers. They're absolutely fantastic. They look really nice. Now our equivalents are probably the NST Bright White for this one here I've got in my hand, which is the Bright White Smooth version. Then we've got our Cotton Etching, our Natural Soft Textured as well, and then our Natural Textured, which will probably be the comparison between each of them. But I've been really impressed, like I said, I've been impressed with them. They look great. Now they're all available on the Photospeed website, so please just, um, go onto the Photospeed website, click on papers and then Epson papers and they will all come up for you. Now they're well worth a try and they look absolutely fantastic. And like I said, these are just printed from the printer settings. I haven't done any profiles or anything. I, I printed one off and it matched pretty well straight out of the box. So it's another thing we kind of don't have to think about in a way when we're thinking about printing. And yeah, they look fantastic and look great as well. So I hope that's been useful. Very quick overview on these cotton-based papers from Epson. Hoping to get a few more papers through and look at the and look at the actual the photo range and like the brighter papers and things that Epson offer as well. It's gonna be really interesting to see how they perform as well. So please don't forget to subscribe. Just click that subscribe button at the bottom. And remember, new videos every Thursday on printing papers and everything in between we can think of. Also, don't forget to download the Photospeed Art of Printing, the new ebook from Photospeed covering absolutely everything from turning on your printer to applying profiles, to printing profiles, to bookmaking, to framing, to mounting, and everything in between. Started off at a 20 page booklet, turned into 156 pages of everything we could think of. So please go on the Photospeed website and just click that download. Now it's free to download, so please jump on and just download that. All right, until next Thursday, bye-bye.